Welcome to this tutorial brought to you by River City Graphics. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create drop shadows using HTML and CSS. So I'm going to get started, we're going to open up Dreamweaver. And basically here I have an index.html page and a style.css page, and those are linked together using this link tag in my head. If you haven't used this before, make sure and watch in HD and copy that down. And for those of you who have, we're going to be moving down into the body tag section. So within our body tag, we're going to be creating something that we can actually put our drop shadow on. So I'm just going to be creating a div tag, so an opening and closing div tag. Inside of there, you can put some text if you want. So we can say this is some um, test text, exclamation point, and then in the opening div tag, I'm just going to put an ID. So I'll say space ID equals two quotes, and then inside of those quotes, you can put any name, um, basically something that you can remember. So I'm going to say drop underscore shadow. Okay, so now I can copy that. We can save our file, and then we can head over into our style.css to actually start adding in our drop shadow. So once we're over there, you're going to put in a pound sign or a hashtag, and then you're going to paste in your text for your ID. So mine is drop shadow. Open curly bracket, hit enter a couple times, close curly bracket. So then what we need to do is put in a uh, height and width so that we can actually see this a little bit better. We do have some text in there, but this will give us a better visual of what that'll look like. So we'll say height, and we'll say uh, colon 250 pixels, uh, semicolon, and then we'll do width the same way. So width colon 250 pixels, semicolon. And then we can take and put in just a background color so we can see this better than just white. So we'll say background color and then hit color. So it's colon and then you want a hashtag and put in the color. I'm just gonna pick a light blue, hit save. So now once we have done that, we can go over to our index.html page and I can actually preview this in Firefox and you can see we have our nice blue box right there. So I can just take and close that, and what we're going to do now is actually add in the shadow. So there is one um, piece of CSS that actually seems to work across um, all browsers. Now I am using the updated versions of these browsers, so it is recommended that you put in the other code I'm going to show you. Um, but I will show you this is the one that seems to be working for me, so I'm going to say box-shadow and it even pulls it up there as a code hint, and then a colon, and then space, and we're going to put in uh, four different parameters. Now, you can use um, a few other ones besides just these four, but for most circumstances, these are the default four that you're going to want. The first one is going to be your horizontal offset, so how far horizontally you want your shadow to be pushed away from your image, or your object, in this case, our div. Next one is vertical offset. Um, third one is blur distance, so basically how big is your blur. And then the fourth one is going to be the color of the shadow. So um, we're gonna be starting with the horizontal offset, so we're just gonna make it two pixels away, and then space. We'll do, for our vertical offset, two pixels, space, and then we'll make it, say, five pixels of blur. So blur distance and then space, and then you can see it already pulls up that it wants a color. So we'll do hashtag 000 for black and hit a semicolon. So now if we go over to our index page, I'm just going to do preview in Firefox, and you can see we have our shadow right there. So now we can preview in Chrome, and it surprisingly works on all of these. Now I do have updated browsers um, in Internet Explorer surprisingly it works in there as well. Um, so, and then I think I have Safari as well, but we'll have to copy one of these pages because uh, for whatever reason I don't have that set up in Dreamweaver. So we can open up Safari right there and it's also working in there. So now, like I said, I do have these as updated browsers. So if you wanna make sure that you do show these regardless of um, updated browsers or not, um, you're going to wanna put in the other version of the box shadow code. So I'm just going to take and copy that, and we can take and just paste it down below. And for Firefox, we're going to be putting dash moz and then dash box shadow. So that will specify for Firefox um, what the shadow is going to be. Now you can also use this for anywhere where uh, it seems to be inconsistent for some reason. Um, if you want to specify on Firefox that you want it to be darker or a different distance than you do on other browsers, then this also will work for that. So then we can take into WebKit browsers, which um, I believe are Chrome uh, and Safari. So I'm just going to hit, um, we'll paste this in again. And this is pretty straightforward. It's just dash WebKit dash and then box shadow and all the other stuff we had. So the other one was dot moz and this one's dot WebKit. And now for 
other versions of Internet Explorer, you have to get a little fancy. So for Internet Explorer 8, um, there's some code. And then for Internet Explorer like 5.5 through 7, there's some different code. So I'm going to be showing you that. Um, it's long and ridiculous, but um, that's how you have to do it if you want it to actually show up in those browsers. So we're going to say dash ms dash filter. And this is for Internet Explorer 8. So we're going to do colon space. And we'll put two quotes and a semicolon. And then inside of the quotes, we're going to say P R O G I D, so progid, colon, and then capital D X image. And uh, image should be just a capital I. And then transform with a capital T. And then what I'm going to do is hit period Microsoft. And that's a capital M. And then we're going to say dot shadow and that's a capital S. And then open parenthesis, close parenthesis. Inside of these parentheses, we're going to say strength, and we're going to say equals, and we can put four or five, we'll say five, because that's what we were using for the other ones. And then you have to specify a direction instead of kind of an offset. So for the direction, you can use like 140. So direction equals 140, and I'm pretty sure those are in degrees. So then we can say comma, and then you have to specify color. So color, and this is uh, with a capital C, equals, and then we'll just do single quotes for that. Hashtag one, two, three, four, five, six zeros for um, black. So now what we can do is just copy this. Um, I'm not actually gonna be able to show you this because I don't have old versions of Internet Explorer uh, installed, but I'm going to copy that and for even older versions, which this is for 5.5 through um, seven, we're going to just paste that down here and it basically is the same except for this dash ms dash. You just take that off and so it's just filter colon and then the the progid dx image transform dot microsoft dot shadow and everything else should be the same. So, um, like I said, that box shadow seems to work for some reason across browsers, um, but in uh, other versions of that, uh, you might also need these other pieces. So I just wanted to give you guys a complete story on that just so that you um, don't <laughs> see it and it's not working in a certain browser so you know that you might have to put this code in there. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys learned something. Um, these drop shadows are pretty cool, um, especially so you don't have to take and render this out in something like Photoshop. You can do it all right there in CSS. So it definitely makes um, your web creation a lot more dynamic. So hope you learned something. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment. I have a new video coming out every week. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.